Alright, so today we're going to be ranking 4 boss games as of 2024, so let's get straight into the video. So the first game on the list is Vitals. It's like when your mom tells you we have Arsenal at home, like Arsenal at home. I really respect the game, but like, I don't know, but it's just mid-tier to me because like, it's just like any other FPS game, you know, it's like you aim, you shoot, you kill. Wow. Like, no hate to these Rivals players or whatever. Next on the list is Anime Defenders. Well, not gonna lie, Anime Defenders is like pretty mid, you know? You're just standing in one place, you're just chilling, waiting for something to happen, and then when you place your little character, you're just waiting for things to happen, you're, you're not actually doing things, you know? It's like when you create a robot, and like that robot is just standing in one place chilling, and you're watching it like, wow, I created that, you know? It's like, bro, it's cool, but like, the only reason why this game is popular is because of the crazy VPX, you know? So it's cool, bro. Soul RNG, the brain bot of Roblox. I'm not gonna lie, this game is like gambling addiction, bro. Once you play this game and you get a good aura, like, you're never gonna leave the game. Roblox doesn't allow gambling. And somehow, this game is the most popular gambling game of Roblox. So, like, who is the crazy one here? You know, like, you're just rolling over stuff. This game is based off purely on luck. Like, there's no skill at all, so, like, it's trash, right? Like, Pet Simulator 99, I really respect this game, you know, I played Pet Simulator back in the day, back in 2017 or 2018. The concept of this game is so simple and so fun at the same time, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, when you play this game, you just know what to do, even without the tutorial. So, not gonna lie, Pet Simulator is mid-tier, because it's a simulator after all, you know, it doesn't require skill. It just requires time to be good at the game. Now, Jailbreak. Jailbreak is one of my favorite games, and that's because Jailbreak always cared about their community. It was always like, yo, all right, you don't like that? All right, we're gonna remove that, you know? Unlike these games, Jailbreak actually has some pretty good updates, you know? It's not paid to win. The last time I played this game, it was like 2022, I ain't gonna lie. But Jailbreak, in my opinion, is very good or good. Like, not a masterpiece, because it has some bugs. Like, the Jailbreak itself is like, kinda like, annoying sometimes, because like, imagine just escaping the jail after like, 20 minutes of playing and boom just a camper arrests you like what is going on bro like why did you do that you know? so, like i guess it's very good or good but like we're gonna put it a good deal blade ball well if you like hitting balls and like i think this game is perfect for you but like it's just a boring concept to me like what am i doing like yo what are you playing who I'm hitting balls. Like, what? Why? Like, why? So, I don't know about this game, bro. Like, it doesn't even require that much skill because, like, you just have to click your mics once and boom, ball. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like good or mid. Like, that's where it's mid there, bro. I don't know. So, that's the trip. When it got released, it was actually a good game. It had, like, two cars or maybe, like, three cars. And over time, they added some pretty good updates. And I'm surprised that the game is not paid to win, you know? I played it like two or three times on the stream, and I really enjoyed that game, like. But the thing is, it's confusing, right? So once you play the game, and let's say, for example, you're new to the game, and you join the game. So what am I supposed to do, you know? Like, I know I'm supposed to build a car, but like, how, bro? Like, what? Well, yeah, I don't know about the game, to be honest. Like, it's confusing at the beginning, but like, at the end, it's a very good game. So like, let's say it's a... <laughs> Oh yeah, let's say it's good there. Right? This is a game where you craft all of us. I don't really remember the game, but I remember I played it once. And bro, this game is so addicting. It's like Souls RNG, but this game actually requires some brain usage, you know? You have to like combine 20 different auras into one aura, so you can get a new aura. So that new aura can be combined with the other 20 new auras to get a new aura. And over and over and over and over again, and you get a new aura. So I don't know about that. Like, it's very confusing. Pretty annoying sometimes because like, you just cannot get the combination right, you know? I guess it's a cool game. You know, it's a new concept in Roblox. Alright, we're gonna skip this game because I don't know what the hell it is, to be honest. Blocks Roots is one of the most famous games on Roblox. And to be honest, I think everyone played Blocks Roots at least once. But not gonna lie, when I play Blocks Roots, I don't know what is going on, right? So I just know that there are some fruits, you have some abilities, and like, what am I supposed to do with the abilities, you know? It's like, the strongest battle at home, and like, boom, the strongest battle at home. Like, what is that, bro? Why am I playing, you know? I really respect the game, I really respect the community, they're not toxic, they're not like, some edgy nine-year-old kids. At the same time i don't respect the game you know so i guess like we're gonna put it the cool or trash but okay i think trash is too harsh for this game i think it's cool i ain't gonna lie but counter blocks this game is inspired of csgo and i'm not gonna lie this game is pretty fun until a hacker joins your game but this game really requires some skill it doesn't really require a good pc to play you know you can play it on a potato or on a samsung fridge i really enjoyed playing this game and it's because it really requires some skill like you actually need to understand what's going on to actually play the game so i guess it's good or mid tier i'm not put them good tier arsenal all right so arsenal is pretty similar to counter blocks but the only difference is that one round in counter blocks equals like three rounds in arsenal so arsenal is basically a very fast paced game which i don't really like you know i really like some slow pass games arsenal does require some skill like it requires game sense aim sensitivity and stuff like that so i'm gonna put it to a very good tier 
because I really respect the game, I really respect the community. The game itself never had any problems with anyone, you know, so like, I really like the game. Crevost Road, I never played this game, so I'm not gonna rate it, alright? So, Fallen Cross for fans, there it is. Classic, nah. Doors, nah. Made for all those edgy nine-year-old kids saying, where did you put doors to trash? Bro, you're opening doors. Like, what? Natural disaster survival. This game, I think everyone played this game at least once, just like Box Roots. And the thing with this game is that it's actually fun and enjoyable. Unlike this game. Every like five minutes, a disaster happens when you're on the island. And like, when you get killed, you go back to the lobby. The concept of this game is really simple. It's really understandable. Like, you just know what to do. You know, it's like, you're not dumb to not know. But yeah, I really respect this game. And like, let's just put it to like... Very good tier because everyone knows this game. Let's move on to please donate. So some people say that this game is a cash grab, but like personally, I find this game very good because you can make a lot of robux playing this game. But the problem is that robux takes like 30%, the game itself takes like 10%, so you're left with like 60%, you know? Like, yeah, that's still good for like playing for playing a game that's free, you get paid. Like, bro, that's insane, you know? So I guess I'm gonna put it to a good tier, but back in 2017, this game was this game would be mid, bro. I'm not gonna lie. But today, this game is good. Uh, let's see. What's next? Let's go with Meep City. Meep City is same as Adopt Me, so we're gonna rank them equally. So, let's say, for example, Meep City is trash. This game is gonna be trash as well, because they're basically the same, you know? It's like when you say water and water. Like, what is the difference, bro? Bed Wars. Bed Wars is just like Minecraft Bed Wars, but like, just in Roblox, you know? So, I don't even get why people play Roblox Bed Wars when they can just play Minecraft Bed Wars. But I guess some people just have, you know, low FPS, but yeah, I just don't get it. Like, this game, in my opinion, is just very overrated. It's, like, bad, in my opinion, you know? So, let me just put it to cool, I guess. Like, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to drop a like, subscribe, you know? And if you all want a part 3, just tell me in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!